welcome to the Bracky Factory and welcome to the latest installment on my American La France V12 engine special project. This week I shall be mainly cutting and welding, but also having quite a lot of fun. Let's get going. subframe but uh, I've not touched those yet so uh, I've got the frame and we're now on the road and we're off down to Brian's again and we're going to go into the swamp and offer the frame up to the engine and see if it fits and if it fits then all's good we can crack on and build the bomb trolley um, so while we're down there I think we're gonna play with some engines again so let's see what happens shall we so here we are at the swamp and as predicted, we've got some interesting stuff kicking around. Uh, are you in there, Brian? Ooh. Here he is. Morning. Ready to get cracking. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> right, there's the rat sitting there looking happy. Looking very soft. Ha happy, looking very soft, yeah. yeah. Right, over, over so here I is got, a... This is my Morris over here, look. I got got the oh, tires. Oh on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the tires on the wires, so that's that's its feet sorted. So I've got. It's nearly finished. I've got big plans for this. Yeah, big plans. Right, let's go over to. Let's go and see Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> right, it looks looks like some kind of weird octopus. Let's unwrap it. Cool. Right, let's uh, unveil the beast. I think we've got two tarps on here. Who was leading size of it, man? That is a monster. Right. So, oh my god, I thought I'd pick some big block section, but now look at it, and <laughs> it's quite skinny. Is that a three mil though? That'd be strong. That's three mil, yeah. So, right. Jesus Christ, Christ. man. Are you sure the, 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 your wheels are going to be hard enough? Do you, want, do you want me to give you a hand? Yeah. You're right, That's yeah. fine, yeah. yeah. So, in theory, this is the right width for there. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, yeah, I got you. That works. Slight. Are you going to put it and drill it in place? Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like I've got to shave a little bit off five mil off both sides and then it's fine okay obviously it's going to swivel the other yeah, way around yeah, yeah. and if we just take it around this way in theory that lines up with that that lines up with that ah and you're going to make some legs yeah off of this, yeah, yeah yeah so I honestly, if you've got space, I would put a diagonal in this or something more. So it's going to have diagonals on here. Oh, you got you got on there. I yeah. would. I, and there. Is it worth considering going between the? It's just getting at it all, isn't it? Obviously, the other slight minor issue is it's got to be lifted. To we've got we've got to look in here, man. just to see what comes out. Come on, pull it. Ooh, yummy. What is Ooh. it? Smell like... God, you can smell it from here. It's that lovely old... Tip him out. Ginger fuel. 
It smells like white spirit. Does it? The smell. Yeah, it's old fuel, stale fuel. Yeah, I might need to change that. That's the so you're going to go right through this, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Total. What's this canister? Uh, I just think it's a oil filter. Yeah, yeah. Is it just a? Looks as though something funky's gone on there, it though, like, doesn't it? Looks like it might have been bashed. bashed. Yeah, I yeah. think in its life that's what's happened because it shouldn't be beaten into that whatever. Is that a? You see this piece here? That's that's an item of a dress that is. Look, yeah, yeah. He's gone into there. He's fell over or something. Oh hasn't Christ! He? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whip it off. Look, I reckon that pump would be all right though. Yeah. There's no lift on it. But it's nice having that on the end of it. It gets all the yeah, water it's on it. All this pipe work, oil pump pipe work. Yeah. Must, I don't know what that's for. I would say probably you had a feed to the pump itself. It probably lubricated its pump. Right. Someone said to me about these engines, and I, don't, I, I imagine it's utter horseshit, that they run on six to run the pump. I read that somewhere, but I'm not sure about it. Oh, I think that. it's horseshit because it run like a very unbalanced engine. Yeah, yeah, half an engine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a bit bigger than the Austin 7 one. Fucking huge, isn't it? I think it should also have like a gear change on the yeah, top. Okay. Look at that. America of France. What does that say? Foaming for Foamite Corporation. America of France. Know. That's cool, isn't it? But it's got a, a serial number on the gearbox and yeah. everything. Low gear. So, so we can the low gear is five, uh, three to five eight. It's got uh, the model, and it's got the serial number. America of France. It is literally three mil out. So I'm quite that's happy right. with that. No, that's yeah. good. So that's good. Right, we've done a little analysis and the general conclusion is that this frame whilst it's the right dimensions pretty much bang on it can't be too chunky it really can't be so uh, i'm going to revise this and make it a much deeper triangulation put triangulations in there uh, put gussets in here and just i'm going to have gussets as as brian said you need gussets on your gussets uh, so it's going to be gusset-tastic because that is one hell of a lump. So I think it's time to go back to the bracket factory and make some more brackets. Um, uh, what's your opinion, Brian? Make brackets, make... to go on top of the brackets you've made. Yeah, what am I doing with my gussets? Oh, uh, put gussets on them. <laughs> put gussets and then what? Uh, if you get a chance to make a flange. A uh, flange is on my gussets, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Flange your gussets too. Yeah. Awesome, cool. Right, back to the ranch. So I'm now back at the bracket factory. Uh, I know what I need to do to the frame, so let's get cracking.
So here it is, the bomb trolley. But eagle eye viewers will notice that's neither a bomb or an American LaFrance V12 engine. That's actually an Austin 7 engine. And the reason it's there is to A, give you a sense of scale as to how big the big V12 is going to be, but also to reassure viewers that um, I've not uh, forgotten about the RAG Austin 7. Uh, this is actually the basis of my race engine. And this is my new cylinder head, Ricardo. This is a ported uh, block with big valves. Um, so there's going to be more about that fairly soon. I plan to start building that race engine. But meanwhile, let's have a little walk around the bomb trolley. So as you can probably see, there's a main frame which starts just there, goes over to there, and that is what's bolted to the engine. And these two front upright supports uh, are equivalent to sort of bolting to here really but obviously as you can see um, it's significantly bigger these are heavily triangulated big square section down there big squared section down there uh, there are no rear mounts at the moment that's because I'm going to drop the engine in place and then uh, weld some uprights in situ um, they're going to be very similar to those but cut and trimmed and welded in situ so they're in exactly the right place. I don't know where exactly the right place is right now. Uh, at the back we've got uh, another subframe which has just got the wheels on. Now these wheels can take I think 450 kilos each so that should be plenty. Um, at the other end we've got a front subframe and it's sort of triangulated. Uh, I've um, beefed up the sides of these welding an extra uh, I think six mil plate on the side so that these aren't persuaded to bend uh, if they do bend I may go and buy a hat and eat it and at the front you may have noticed that in the video it didn't have this top bit and it didn't have this big bush but after a conversation uh, with Mr. Mr. Swamp Brian Oak Swamp, we decided that you can't get too strong here, so I've upgraded to a, this is a 16 mil bolt, which has a shear strength of six tons. So that should be plenty, I reckon. Um, and then on the front, we've got this A-frame, which hinges down, and again, some heavy duty brackets. Each one of these bolts can take three tons so uh, all in all it should be fingers crossed strong enough uh, one of the final touch is that i've got these lock stops here and these obviously prevent the wheels from going all the way around and uh, the tire fouling on the frame so uh, he's got a cat in the background helping out as usual so without further ado it's time to give it a little test isn't it Hello, is that Mr. Swamp? Hello, is that Mr. Swamp? Uh, Mr. Brackett here. Great news, bomb trolley is finished. Been doing some trials, handles beautifully. So get the chocolate hobnobs in because we're on our way down. Oh, one more thing. Uh, hope you've been taking that protein powder like we talked about because we've got some fairly heavy lifting to do.